Score. What is going on, everybody? We are at Hershey Park, Pennsylvania, checking out what's going on for the Chocolate Town USA for the 2020 season. It's not open yet, but it's under construction. We're basically doing a vlog of the park, the roller coasters, the water park, everything in it. Hershey Chocolate World with the factory right in there. I might do a video in there, depending on the timing. But yeah, so it's just a vlog on the park. So hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys inside. There's just Chocolate World with their factory right in there. And coming up, we see Chocolate World under construction. They got some of the buildings up already. Oh, there's Sky Rush. Probably one of the, my favorite roller coasters here in the park. But it's under construction, Chocolate World. Today is July 1st. Today is July 1st. And the whole entrance is going to be a brand new roller coaster. The ticketing service and registrations are already on. It's already um, up and in business. But they're still making the roller coaster and other buildings. So we are coming back for the 2020 season to vlog that too. The new Chocolate Town. We just went through the bag security. Checking out chocolates now. What's going on? We have the mystery facts over here. The roller coaster is. I think there's already footers up, I'm not sure. But then, you know, it's just the construction on the building. So I think the footers for the roller coaster are already ready, but I'm not really sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's Sky Rush. So I can see you guys inside. Vlog in the park. Yeah. Sky Rush is going. Yeah. No words at all. No, what did George say? It's good. And he does a thing work the truck, driving the truck, he do too many things. It's good overtime money. Yeah. Sky Rush. We're waiting in line to get in the park. I love Sky Rush. It's probably one of the best rides here. Awesome ride experience. We are now in Hershey Park. Just got in the grand entrance. We paid $47 for just staying at the Hershey Lodge. If you stay at the resort, your tickets are really cheap and you pay the kid price instead of paying the $90 that you would pay to get into the rides and attractions. So now, what do we got here? We got pizza, Nathan's, and a carousel over there. Souvenirs and gift shop. We're gonna go by the roller coasters. Then we're gonna check out. First, we're gonna check out Sky Rush because I haven't gone that ride in two years. And there's Mr. Milton Hershey. First, we're gonna get a locker to lock our stuff in. By the grand carousel over here. <laughs> Kit Kat bar. What is this? Oh. Bunch of kitty rides here, the Himalaya, the dinosaur go around, and the tilt a whirl. Kitty zone over here. The Sky Rush. That's where we're gonna go on. It's the Comet. The Comet's an old woody for Hershey Park. Lockers and restrooms pretty much everywhere. So now we're coming to this crossway. This crossway goes, well, there's a little shop here, but this crossway goes to Sky Rush, Great Bear, the Comet, and so and so. We also have Gondola right here. And there we go, there's the flying coast to the Great Bear. Great ride experience in this one too. But there's all there's many other roller coasters here we gotta try out. Fahrenheit, um, Lightning Racers, yeah, Lightning Racers, Wildcat. And I forgot the other name of the other coaster. But there's many oh and super duper loopers here. I almost forgot about that one. 
And you can see multiple roller coasters here at Hershey Park. And there's Skyrush. Wow, it's right there. So we just did Skyrush, um, Great Bear, and Super Duper Looper and the Comet. All great attractions. Skyrush is insanely forceful, and I love that fact about it. It's great bear. We're now going to head over to the mine train, the train ride, and Fahrenheit, and all the other attractions. So see you guys there. right side of the park. They also have a monorail thing. You can see this big rail here. A monorail service that goes around the park. It gives you a great bird's eye view of the park. Unfortunately, right now it's not working. Uh, but I don't know what to do. Probably maintaining it. But now we're going to the main part of the park where they have the launch coaster and the drop towers. I'm going to test out these drop towers, tell you how they are. It's very scenic here. There we go, there's the roller coaster going out. And with that, look at that. That's insane, that ride. I'm gonna ride it today. There's the monorail. I am talking about to work on now. Let's see the drop tower go. Mark. So the way this works, this is the tallest one, the Hershey, the Reese's, and the Kisses is the smallest one. They're all fun rides and great for the family. So we just did the drop tower. It was good. I recommend going on the Hershey's Tower. The Kisses Tower is smaller, the Reese's Tower is medium, and the Hershey Tower is the most intense. We are now going on the monorail um, to show you a bird's eye view of what the park has to offer and the chocolate factory. We will later be going to the boardwalk, which is the water park, Fahrenheit, the, um, the launch coaster, and the two wooden twisters. We're now going on the western train ride. The monorail was closed, so now we're going to go on this. Hi. We're now on the oh. line train, crossing the bridge, scenic railway. There's a little train right here that they have to offer views of Hershey Park. I'm about to try that launch coaster in a few. I'm trying to ride it. past a little western town. We are like in the middle of the park. They have a pendulum disco right here called the Claw. Nothing too interesting there. Just it goes back and forth and it spins. Got a bunch of gift shops in the middle. Little stands here with water and souvenirs from the park. We also have an arcade called the Play Dome. We're now going by the western side to ride. I think I don't know what the launch coaster's name is. I always forget. But there's also a mine train coaster and a boomerang from Vacoma. So I'm gonna check that out, see how that is and how it's running. There's a train that we just got on. There's a bunch of mini flat rides here. The boomerang was good. Surprisingly comfortable restraints. I really enjoy this ride. And then as for Storm Runner is the name of it, the launch coaster, I got it. It's very impressive. No rattle at all. Not that rough. Smooth. It's intense, this ride too. Now get ready. 
It's a fun ride. Now we're going to the western town where the Trailblazers. Awesome ride experience. On uh, surprisingly, I really enjoyed Boomerang. It wasn't as rough, and they have different restraint system. It's a, I think it's a lap bar. I don't even know, but they have a different restraint system. Overall, Storm Runner and Boomerang is a great ride, and I would ride it again. But now there are lines, so oh, and there's a Trailblazer going. Fahrenheit. Probably my favorite coaster. I'm in love with this ride. Fahrenheit is a vertical drop. Beyond vertical, uh, I mean beyond vertical drop, I'm sorry. It's an intense ride. That's what makes it so fun. Can you get it running? The only problem I have with this ride is the weight. But it is more than the ride, especially with the rate, the weight, Fahrenheit, one of the best rides here. We just got off the wild pad. It's a really rough ride. They need to do some retracking for this ride. I'm going to show a video of the wild cat later. But right now, we're coming up to the water park. They also have a crazy mouse here. I can't see the other oh, it is. The wild mouse. Coming up to Laugh Track, which is the indoor roller coaster in the dark. I'm gonna check that out and then we get on lightning races. This is really the back of the park with a bunch of slides. Let me see if I can get a good view of the coaster here. No, but you can tell in the back, that's the Wildcat, the wind coaster in the back. It's insanely rough. Really rough. Like, it got really rough. That track did that. Over here in the back, it's like an old-fashioned part, part of the park. The whip, we're gonna try it out. Old-fashioned whip from Milton Hershey himself. We're gonna check it out. I didn't even know they had this. The whip, and this is the Music Express, which is a, a disco ride. Jolly Rancher Twizzlers, I'm a Jolly Rancher size. There's the music ride over there, we're gonna check that out too. We're about to ride Lightning Racers, a dueling wooden roller coaster. I'm really excited about this one. Twisting tracks. I hope it's as smooth as it used to be. Wildcat was extremely rough. I'm trying to see if it goes down. There we go. We're about to ride it today, but first we're gonna go on the Music Express. Just got off of Lightning Racer. I gotta say, it aged really well. It's an amazing ride. It's an amazing ride and we won. We got the thunder seat instead of lightning and I, my instincts were right. We won. Green was the winner. I gotta say, lightning racers, let me tell you. Probably the best wooden coaster I've ever ridden. It's insane. I mean, the twists and turns. The twists and turns on this ride are really forceful and they're insane. I highly recommend this ride to anyone. It's a great ride. And now we're gonna go to the water park. I know I said it over and over again with this ride after ride here, so. We are now by the water park. There's Fahrenheit over there in the distance. Yeah, like I was saying, lightning racers, intense ride. Very forceful, especially on that turn right there. That turn was intense. But I gotta say, awesome ride experience. Oh, I think it's going. And I wanted to see it. Okay, but for, I'm gonna check. Maybe they have the before they have something going next year. But yeah, like I said, intense ride. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's a great ride. It aged really well. I was expecting much worse from the ride, but it was really great. It was an, it was an intense ride. But yeah, lightning racers, great. And now we're at the boardwalk. The famous boardwalk at Hershey.
There's a crazy mass over there, like I mentioned before. Very impactful. A lot of forces on this right too. There's Fahrenheit in the distance. But yeah, the boardwalk. We also got a kitty section over here and a new water area, which I gotta check out and see the water coaster. Another food option here that they have is Nathan's Hot Dogs. The original Nathan's Hot Dogs are started in Coney Island. We also have a Lazy River here and a Wave Pool. But right now what we're going to try, right by the Lightning Races, we are going to try the newest water coaster here. I don't know what it's called, but it looks insane. It's a water coaster, which makes it its 14th coaster here, I think. Yeah. I'm not sure what it said. I think it's the 14th coaster. So you go up and down and it's the same. Breaker's Edge. There we go. Breaker's Edge. Is the name of this ride. There we go. And it's insane. I love this ride. It's amazing. I just by looking at it, I love it. I haven't even tried it yet. And they also have mat races over there. I will give you a update and a review on how it is. And they also have weights. So we are now by the Lazy River portion. It's a nice lazy river. We gotta try the plunge later. There's a new ride, Breaker's Edge. I'm really dying to ride it. We need two people here, so I'm trying to convince my dad to ride it with me. Now for this lazy river, you have to have a tube. For some reason, you have to have a tube. Most lazy rivers, you don't need, you don't have to have one. But this is the other section of the boardwalk water park. We also have a wave pool here. The waves aren't on yet, but there's a wave pool. And there's the other ride. The newest slides here, the mat racers and breaker's edge. Whole brand new section to the park. Well, let's see if we can get this running the, the, the plunge ride. I want to get the plunge ride going. The plunge ride is really good, you get really wet on this. You get really wet on this, but it's a great ride. Highly recommend it. You can see splash over there. But yeah, this is the newest selection. And the waves are starting. We just blew the whistle. Yep, there they go. Great addition to the park. Is it yellow? What is it?
travel 10 miles an hour, offering you panoramic views of Hershey Park. To your right, you'll see some of our thrilling coasters in the hollow region, including our oldest wooden coaster, Comet. The hollow is also home to our first goofy steel coaster, Super Duper Looper, and Sky Rush, the tallest, fastest, and longest coaster in the park. That completes my trip of Hershey Park, Pennsylvania. Tell me what you think of this park. I really personally enjoy this park. It is a fun park, great families, a lot of coasters. So yeah, and overall, this is just a vlog of the park. Uh, I wanted to come here and vlog it for a while now. It finally happened. So let me know what you think of this park. Like, what are your thoughts and opinions on it? And I will keep you updated on the 2020 chocolate world. Brandon Tyler signing out. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe.